G'day everyone and welcome back. We're going to continue on with this. We left last time and I hadn't done this one, still not done that one, but I have worked out what I'm going to do for these ones. Um, so we're going to get in and just glue them down, ink them up, you know, do all of the, the works and jerks that, that go with it. I'm, I'm still struggling with the, the knee. Hopefully by the time you watch this I'll be long over that which will be fantastic if that is the case because I don't want to continue having a sore knee it is very frustrating okay, um, let's need I need a thingy tiggy to takey offy um, had, a, had a shocking night's sleep um, so I don't know I'll probably start talking delirium for this one um, just you know, every time you rolled, the knee hurt, and I'd taken some good painkillers and stuff, but I did it a whopper. Um, I was supposed to go to a meeting today as well, and I went, you know what, I really just don't want to sit there all day um, feeling miserable, so I didn't go. Um, one of those things that I volunteer for it so I don't get paid for it so I'm like yeah no and you know how it is when you feel like miserable it's like meh all right okay there we go we got that and we're gonna move over to this side over to the dark side um yeah, so I've just kind of sat here all day. The um, my boyfriend's gone out fishing again. He sent me pictures, and he's, he's seen dingoes at Gari, and I'm like, oh, of course you do. And I I go, and all I get is wind and do my knee further. You go without me, and you get dingoes on Gari. Um, no, mind you, I can't complain. We got whales the other week when we went out over the over the strait, so. You know, I've seen dingoes on Gary before too. So, <laughs> but um, but you know, it's still the weather's much better today. Hopefully, he catches some fish or some crabs um, for his sake um, and for mine. Because you know, if anyone's got a partner that's a fisherman, you know that they're they they try not to be disappointed, but they really are. <laughs> um, and then and then we have to deal with it. that back in place. Yep, fit it. Is that? Yep. Yeah, just check in. Yeah, so it's like, so I'll either have sad, sad face or, or not so sad face this afternoon. It'll be interesting. I haven't gotten any text saying, look what I got. So I'm kind of thinking I'm going to have sad face. Sad face is going to be coming home. That's alright. That's alright. As they say. Um, yeah. I'm going to go pick up the girl from work this afternoon. She's like, You know, all this stuff that takes you away from just sitting here and crafting away, you know, it's like, yep. One of these days that lotto will happen. And then I can art to my heart's content. Another one. Hey, what else have we got to tell you? My, my life's like, you know, it's like. <sighs> tell you about where I live. I, um, if you hadn't, haven't been around for a long time, I live in the Fraser Coast. 
um, of Queensland, Australia. And um, this is where Gari lay to rest because it was paradise and she wasn't wrong. Oh, so Gari is a um, one of our Aboriginal um, oh, sprites, whatever you, you know, deity, whatever you want to use the word for. But um, yeah, so so it's believed this is where she lay down to rest, and she became Gari or Fraser Island, as it was formerly known, and uh, biggest sand island in the in the world. And it's got, its beaches are highways, so they have traffic signs and you've got to follow the road rules on the beach and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. You can only go over there with a four-wheel drive butt because there's no sealed roads. Alright, so we'll come back to that one and we'll see how, um, whatever leftovers I've got. Let's work on this. So I'm going to use this piece here. And what I have done whilst getting prepared for this was I have put a piece of um, black or just spare cardstock along the body of our little um, friend here because we are going to um, come around and we're going to turn her into a tuck spot so I like putting um, cardstock um, behind because it just strengthens that entryway point so that we're not um going to damage the paper if we if we take a photo in and out right. I'm just cutting along her body now down to her waistline which is a, no, a much nicer waistline than I got I reckon I'm probably more Ursula than Mermaid. Maybe the Kraken, depends on what mood I'm in. Continue down to about there. I don't want to go too much further. I think that will do. Now let's see if I got it all. That is the question. Did I miss any bits? There we go. That just needs a little help and hand. And ink around the edges. Gently inform here. All right. Now I want to just put a little bit of tape alongside the stuff that I don't want coming up. This just actually helps me more than anything. Um, it helps me not put glue on this side. Alright. Okay. Where did I put the page? Oh, there. I was like, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did you go? My little blue. Dun, dun, dun. Alright. Now it's in my head. And that happens not. Probably should be Ursula. Still, still a mermaid's voice, so that I um 
can actually sing. I get tape everywhere. Take it up too far. I reckon about there. Looks good. Okay. Let's see if we can get this sucker down. Now pink's on my head. Burn super dark. Got some glue explosions. It's one good thing about this glue rubber butt. Gets it all up. I like it. Like it lots. Alright. Make sure we're down along here. And I'm just gonna run my hook to catch my mermaid. Right there. And that's what I thought might happen. So I'm just going to lift this up for a moment. And what I'm going to do is a bit of paper. That looks good. just a random piece of scrap paper that was on my desk so it's not going to be seen by anybody but what can happen now is we can put a photo up in there and I've done it so it could be that way so it could be it could take up to a six by eight um, it's kind of the way I've kind of designed it but yeah so go in there could be a couple of photos you know what else but is that one. Alrighty, let's move on. Move it on. Move it on. Okay. Now, what am I doing? Over here. That's it. I've got, I've got kind of half prepared over here. Alrighty. This was left over from that and it works lovely along here. So, I'm going to put that there. we can kind of see where I cut off the tail I think maybe don't know but we're not looking anyway we're going over here we're going to go there to there there we go all right so that's that one now we're going to take this piece in and take a little bit off I was like, where are my scissors? Okay. And then that should slide in there theoretically. It does. Very good.
this um paper shines like crazy for you guys on the with the light overhead light um, it's, it is does shine don't get me wrong but it's not as crazy as it looks to as reflective as it is to you guys but, um, okay so we got that all right let's keep going Get of this one. And the ends got mangled somehow, so I'm just gonna cut them up. That's not gonna work but too good. Pencil there. There. To there. Now let's go from there to there and then there to there. Alright. Yeah. Completely get rid of those mangled eggs. I um, cut it wrong the wrong way in my trimmer and my trimmer was like, nope, I don't like it. Too much glitter. There is too much glitter. Never enough that. Now I figured we would use this. Right. Let's have a look at that. Oh, so far to go to get a trimmer. Right. Where is it? There it is. Very nice. Now we need to uh, repeat. Okay, the top bit. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now I've got to find it. like totally a different amount to the other one. That's right, okay. Alright. That one. Take off a bit. Let's ink and place. Um.
glue explosion. Once it finds a spot, keep going. Like water. Okay, and an exit place. And the hole. Alright, there we go. Let's do the inside bits now. Go one up, one down, just to be different. It's like, ah. So these are the four by four squares. Play today. Okay. How well are they? Except for everyone that watches this, but you know, that's not a huge amount, so it's all good. It's all good. That was a bit obnoxiously loud, probably in your ear. An explosion. It likes to explode on me. Ah, the art glitter glue. Okay. So there we go. So we've got those two there now. Now let's have a look. At the back of this one. I'm going to go this one, which is three and a half by five. Glue, glue, glue. on the back. So let's go for there and
make it a sneaky tuck spot. I will probably forget that it's a sneaky tuck spot, but you know. Oh, wow. We're motoring along, people. Motoring along. Alrighty. Next piece. We're going to go over to here. We're going to put this guy down. Inking up around the edge. Gently place it down. Alright. Okay. Right. Now, I decided, mainly because I made a mistake when I was cutting it, but then I decided I'm going to get fancy anyway. And we're going to do some of those strips. I'm going to do that. And then. I'm going to put this one down the bottom, like so. Alright. So let's cut all these guys to the right length. So, one. Now, me trying to ink this, hilarious, but you know, even if it's just a touch, just a touch. So at times like this, I think I get more ink on my fingers than I do on the paper, but you know. Once you start inking, you can't stop. This one. So it's just these little things, eh? Take a long time. Little details. What do they say? It's all in the details. detailed orientated person. I'm a big picture kind of girl. I like to come up with the ideas and someone else do all, do all of the, 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 you know, the, the stuff that makes it work. Um, yeah. Put some butts on this.
so we're coming together pretty quickly with this, which is good. Probably because I was pre-prepared. I think that's, that's the trick, is to kind of maybe have half a clue when I come to you. The problem is I don't really, I don't work like that. I just kind of usually wing it and then spend three hours labouring over what piece of paper I want to use. Um, that's why I'd rather just build it and someone else decorate it. Mm. Alright. So there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Alright, so now we open up. Oh, there goes the glue. You're probably like, whoa, watch the glue. Sorry. Drop that. We're going to look at these guys. Alright. So first up, we're going to put this dude up here. Give him a butt. I just don't this this pattern this is the one pattern that doesn't speak to me this back this pattern I'm pulling on at the moment like it looks all like old book marbling and and you know all of that kind of stuff and cells and all of that but it just I don't know I just for some reason it's not which should speak to me because that's my my jam but it's not so I'm like, I don't know all right let's put this down Okay, are you trying to see what I'm doing? Okay, so that one done. Now, okay, and put these guys on. Um, yeah, so cellular biology and stuff is my, it's what I went to uni for and things, but. Yeah, just not my, I don't know whether, it, what, the colours, but that's usually, I usually like that, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it was, it's just not speaking to me, and that's okay, because the other side's nice, so I'm happy to use it. So I um I have uh someone that I work with and I, I make her albums regularly um over in America and um we've just finally um, agreed on a paper and a concept for her new, she's just been over to um, the British Isles, so, um, so I've got to start working on that one after this. I was hoping she would like to use the Magic Forest papers, because um, I've got, I bought a lot of them too, and then I saw these ones, and these ones won. Um, so they're all ready to go as well, but I'll just make another thing with that one as well. That's all good to go. So if anyone would like an album, Magic Forest, if anyone would like this as it comes together, you just got to email me. It's always in the description below. Shoot me an email, um, message me on Instagram, whatever, whichever way works for you. Um, and you're more than welcome. You can discuss it. Okay, I'm going to add a little sneaky pocket down the bottom here. So it ends up being 11 by about three and a half. Years. It was just strap, so, um, and I've scored it at half an inch all the way around. Uh, I'm going to take it off and run it through the dye machine um, with with some of this paper, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so we're done. Luckily, I've nearly finished. I just got a message as I was cutting that too. Um, 
boyfriend's on his way home. He didn't say anything about fish, so I don't think I'm getting the one. Mm. Or he might be hoping to surprise me. We will see. We will see. Sorry, it's really awkward trying to get this into to shot. Um, my actual desk that I... I've got lots of space around me, but the actual spot that I film on um, isn't that big, so... And usually, like, I'll hold it up against my boobs or whatever, but I can't really do that. Um, when we're on here, so gotta try and um, work another way around it. Alright, I'm just going to. I'm gonna use craft for this one, just a little bit of space at the back. I don't think it needs anything else. Um, a bit of quietness is not a bad thing. And it'll tie into the craft that we use down on these these flappy bits. Um, Mainly because this didn't glue down here. I need to come back. Just run a bead along here. Make sure that glues down properly. Alright, that's it. Better. That's better. Better, better. Alright. Okay, let's. A bit of glitter. A bit of glitter is always good. Come on here. When we come back and decorate later too with um, like you know the sediments and other um, cutter parts and stuff, the glitter always provides a nice spot to position it. Um, kind of makes it like look like that it's there with purpose. I like, took the lid off. I'm sitting there squeezing it, and nothing's coming out. I often get the question why I use this glue over the art all the time. Thing, this is cheaper for me to buy than art. 
here in Australia. So that, that is why. So on a bigger area, um, I'm using it. And it provides a little bit more strength. It, like it dries a little bit um, I don't know, more solid. So it can provide a little bit of strength to the back of the um, thing as well. All right, so we might have to just train it while we shut that one up. Okay, we've got that. Got that. Got that. Now I've just got to think about here. So, yeah, let's have a look. Um, Center there. So one like which one? One over here, but it's kind of oh, it's just I'm gonna have to trim it down and then <sighs> I don't want to. I'm going to have to trim it down. Do a 3 by 5 Might work. I'm not going to do that. No, have that one there. I'm okay with that. Alright, so let's think about that one. Um, okay. Um, oh, I realised I forgot something back on here. I forgot to put something into the back there. It's only minor, but I'm, I'm thinking it needs it. So, I've just got some offcuts. Some scraps. On the first page. And I figured they would be a perfect... So would craft. Um... Okay. It's the sticking it in. There we go. Look, tiny little bit. But I don't know. I just. Like I said, little details. And if, if anyone ever questions why, how much I charge, it's like, go watch these videos and see how long it takes me to do this. Because I, I, I certainly don't charge a lot. I, um, I'm lucky to charge for what I, the supplies I use. Um, I just like creating. Okay. Alright, so we're back to that. And then... We've got that, but I think I think we're all good there. I'll um do that and um, think about that. Like I said, wait for some scraps and um, see kind of what pops there. I think I oh, wait up. I think I've got some that might work. Um, what to do? Oh, you know, I'm gonna go because my knee is starting. To, I need to stand up. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, thank you very much for joining me. We're, we're pretty much done with this page. That little bit won't take long. And um, we're all good. So we've got our little waterfall. Oh, I've got to do that little back as well. See, that's what I get for having a look. And um, I will see you in the next one. As always, remember, be kind, be strong, be warrior. See you later. Bye.